Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Today we got a doubleheader. First off, we have the number three ranked Bryant Bulldogs hosting their rivals, the William and Mary Tribe, in an ACC showdown. This should be a good one, guys. William and Mary was the first team to ever beat the Bryant Bulldogs, and that was in season two. And both of their games have been just phenomenal so far in this rivalry down to you know one score games at the end so let me go ahead and get this shared up in the discord which it is and we are all gucci let me load up my chat on my phone while i'm doing that slap a like on the video guys subscribe if you're new and join our discord community today to get your college football career started in this fcs dynasty all right now that i got all that shenanigans out of the way who we got in the chat my Sweet Revenge, Audrey, what's going on? OSU Rocks, Hammer Jammer in the chat. A whole bunch of legends out here. Alright guys, I'm pretty excited for this one. This is this is a great rivalry, the best one um, in the series in my opinion. As far as you know, going up against a computer team. Well, let's take a look at the summary here, the game info. William & Mary, they're having a rough season. They started out 1-0. And they've lost three straight. Bryant has won five games dating back to last season. And they are in the top 25 in every category except for rush defense, which has been a little bit iffy for them this season. But, you know, hopefully we'll, we'll improve that. We've got plenty of games left. So, I mean, eight regular season games on the season for Bryant to go. So plenty of time for them to improve. But I don't really care about William & Mary's rankings, their overalls, because it's a rivalry game, so... Anything can happen in this game. I mean, we saw the Tribe beat the Bryant Bulldogs last season and pretty much ended their chances at a national title game appearance. Now, let's see. Team specific. Let's get it. I want to go with the White Pants today. Let's do it. Who else we got in the chat? Who we got? The Eggonator. What's going on, brother? Chaos Driven. Marvin Joseph. Can I do Division 1A? Not a fan of Division 1 AA? Why would you say such a thing? Why would you do this? I mean, I do have series that involve the FBS. But this series just kind of became the main series on the channel. Because it just got so popular. I mean, technically, the Mississippi State Bulldogs dynasty is still the most popular on the channel, which just blows my mind. Well, here we go. Offense first, Brandon Allen. But this series is centered around subscriber players, Discord members. So I wanted to find a way to get you guys all involved in a series. And this is, you know, what transpired. I used to do this uh, when I was growing up. Just put all the FCS schools into the series and just, you know destroy people build up a program nice run by brandon allen let's take a look at the offense first before i get too far ahead of myself led by junior quarterback noel montanez he's backed up by sophomore quarterback jason stark the backfield is brandon allen and aj jordan allen has finished uh second in the heisman twice now wide receivers lj tofer he's injured and snoopy tucker tight end diego martinez and at left tackle the all-american kenneth harrington just gonna feed the beast today. Let's do it. Jay Washington in the chat. Bryant, 21 point favorites. You could love to see it. You do. Little Mike in the chat. What's going on, brother? But yeah, anyways, this kind of just became the uh, the main series on the channel. And I developed the Elite Football League in Madden 2006 for all of our subscriber players to get drafted into eventually. So you guys can go pro in a fully customized 32 team league, which. I'm really looking forward to the first ever draft just to see where everybody's going to get going. You know, we have actual owners of 10 of the teams. We have coaches for seven of the FCS schools. What in the world? My controller would not register the circle button. What is going on here? Hammer Jammer with a $5 super chat. My brother. Appreciate you, man. This is a thing. Yes, sir. <laughs> it sure is. Ron Kemp, what's going on, buddy? <laughs> we are live. Yes, sir. 
I'm taking a deep shot. It's third and 18. Why not? Snoopy Tucker. I get no blocking. Oh, my sweet baby lead. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Somebody help me. <laughs> what in combination is going on here? My cats are messing up stuff in my, my office. Got a cat running across my feet as I'm trying to play a game. Someone help me. Hammer, you didn't even know you could do that? Brasher's on for the punt. Oh, bad snap. They don't have Tom Schaefer. That is evident here. Come on, AJ. Come on. Nope. Oh, nice tackle by Newman. Yeah, once you hit uh, once you hit 1,000 subscribers, uh, you get super chats and stuff like that. Let's take a look at the Bryant defense, led by Cy Summers, that outside linebacker. Stephon Hope for the other one. Uh, defensive line, Ruben Blueberry, Joe Owens, and Divine Adams. And at corner, Tadian Moss. He doesn't have, you know, crazy numbers, but he is a lockdown corner and should be drafted in the first couple rounds. All right, let's do this. Cy Summers time. Let's go. This goes to show how many YouTubers you watch. Yeah, I don't watch many either, so don't feel bad, man. Don't don't feel bad at all. Ferris, nice catch. Oh, and a first down for William and Mary as they look to get on the board first. Here in Smithfield, Rhode Island. I keep you around for your graphics, not your brains. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's not true. You don't have to make the graphics. That's a nice catch by Gatewood. So the Tribe have most of their players from the previous two seasons. They've just lost their quarterback. And their number one running back, I believe. But their number two running back, who is Blackstock, has been really good. Play action. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Oh, you gonna drop it. What's up? Alright. Second down of ten. Do, 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 do. I bet. Get him. Let's go. Ruben Blueberry, baby. Let's go. Averaging one sack per game. That's what I'm talking about. So that's his fifth on the season. Not bad. Not bad at all. I think uh, around week eight, I'll be updating. Oh, the number one defense. Nice. Very nice. Around week eight, when I'm adding some in-season recruits and whatnot, I'm also going to be going over. Oh, that was terrible. Nice tackle. I'm also going to be going over all the stats and whatnot and posting the stats for subscriber and Discord member players uh, in the Discord for those that are interested. Oh, we hit the kicker. We hit him. We hit him. Feels bad. That is a feels bad situation. Please don't touch that. Hammer, are you, are you judging me in my humming? I feel like you're judging me. I don't get much pleasure in life anymore, right? Let me, let me hum, man. I'm going to get sacked for a safety right here. Bet. Chug it up. Stupid Tucker. Double coverage picked. Yep. Good stuff. Awesome. All right. We're just going to run it every single play. Why not? Let's go, Allen. Let's go. But yes, it was definitely... Fly like an eagle, hundred percent. Oh my goodness gracious! <laughs> that should have been a safety. Hey, Tom Schaefer in the chat, my brother. You just want to hear the rest of the song now, Hammer? I feel that, man. I really do. I really feel that. I'm about to get sacked for a safety, and there will be tears. Why not? Just throw it up. Let's go white. Let's go white. No way. No way! Touchdown, Bryant Bulldogs! The 99 yarders! Let's go! The second longest pass in FCS football history. We do have a 100 yard pass from Michael Hines to Christian Hart for the Jacksonville Dolphins. So, this is now the second longest pass in history, folks. Oh, my sweet baby Jeebus. <laughs> Dang! That was nice. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
Let's pay our respects in the chat for that cornerback who got burnt like toast. <laughs> Ninety-nine yard touchdown pass. That receiver that caught that, by the way, is a true freshman. So, you know, if you don't have a player already, and you'd like to customize one, just go ahead and join our Discord community today, and that ninety-nine yard reception could be yours. Yeah, <laughs> ninety-nine yards and a touchdown is one hit me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh boy. Like that, the tribe has been clapped. Come on now, first quarter. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's play some defense now. Let's get serious here. Get him! Oh, Okafor, what you doing? Oh, baby! That that is a feels bad moment. Stefan Okafor, not the best in coverage. I'm not gonna lie. I can't believe we just had a 99-yard touchdown pass. I'm still, I'm still stuck on that. Topsy would clap a whole tribe if we could find him. <laughs> oh man, I'm laughing, but it's so true. No! Darn it! Come on, Coleman, get out the way. I can't stop. I can't stop. I just can't do it. All right. William Ray vs. Bryant shaping up to be the best rivalry of the dynasty? Uh, it already is, sir, in my opinion. Every game has been... Oh, baby! Oh, oh, that was nasty. Oh, nice play. That's a touchdown. Gatewood to the house! William & Mary answers right back with a touchdown of their own. But did you see that hit on the halfback? John Jensen in the chat. What's going on, brother? Hope you're well, my friend. I don't think you have a choice, Hammer. Eat him. All right, so we're all tied up just like that. Nice little uh, 80 yard drive of their own. Somebody go back and check the uh, final scores of the previous two Bryant and William Mary games. I'm pretty sure. The first one, oh nice, nice spin move. The first one, Bryant won in overtime. It was fourth down for William and Mary, and I big hit a receiver over the middle at the sticks, and he dropped the pass. Dude, I told you it don't matter what their rankings are. Their offense can be dead last, and they're still gonna put up points and yards on us. Oh, let's go, let's go, get out the way, son. Look at those career numbers. 5,600 rushing yards for Brandon Allen. Well, John, I, I just got home from work and, you know, just relaxing, trying to enjoy the rest of my day and play some football and entertain you guys. Right, let's do it. Snoopy Tucker, wide open. Oh, my sweet baby Jesus. He had the awareness of a gnat. What was that? He should have been in the end zone for the go-ahead score. All right, cool. Wow, okay. Good blocking, good blocking. I like it. Feels really bad. I can't even lie to you. All right, what are we doing here? Probably nothing good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Get open. Oh, let's go! First down, Bulldogs! Let's go! Yes, John, I am the Bryant Bulldogs right now. Yes, sir. First game was 38-31. Summer's big hit. Yes, I remember that hit. <laughs> like it was yesterday. That is my most memorable play in this entire series, I think. Let's go, Allen. Let's go. Let's 
Brandon Allen, a future top 10 pick in the EFL. He's got to be. He's got to be. Best running back in the country. Tyler Rocky in the chat. What's going on, Tyler? Hope you're doing well, buddy. Old buddy, old pal. All right, let's take this lead. Let's do it. All right. Go up the middle for five yards with Noel Montanez, the junior quarterback. Second game, 24-23, missed kick. Oh, it hurts. It hurts to think about it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Martinez! All right, we'll get a first down. It's cool. All right. Oh, we didn't get that first down? What? What do you mean? What is this? That's right. We're going to get it right here. Or I'll break a tackle and get stuffed. Feels bad. Punch it in with a fullback. I got you, Tom. Right now. Fourth down on the three-yard line. Fullback dive. Let's get it. Fullback is Wes Davis, former halfback for the Bulldogs. And he's got the touchdown. Let's go. Fullback for the win, baby. That one was for you, Tom. Bryant takes the lead back here in the second. I love this rivalry. This is so awesome. So I know William & Mary is going to just drive right down the field and score again to tie it up. I feel it. I feel it in my bones. Nine play, 81-yard drive, 146 off the clock for the Bryant Bulldogs. Number three team in the land. Who said you don't need fullbacks? Noah. Noah did. AKA Jet in the Discord. Head coach of the UC Davis Aggies. Yeah, get out of here, Blackstock. Get out of here. All right. Back to defense, I suppose. Try to pump that crowd up a little bit. Three bars. Let's get it. you gonna do what you gonna do oh baby Cy Summers with a deflection you didn't know what would be that late Tyler the game I mean I get out of work at like nine just saying Tom Schaefer with a two dollar super chat I love for fullbacks yes sir You the best. Oh, that's a sack. Let's go. Joe Owens. He was elevated to subscriber player status in the offseason just because he is such a monster. And he is a senior. Looking to be drafted in the AFL in the offseason. Oh, I'm blitzing. Let's go. Big hit, Cy Summers. Let's go. No. Let's go. That's not a safety. Oh, Joe Owens. What are you doing? No, boo boo. Why? They're not going to give me the safety on that, are they? Oh my goodness. Let's block this. Let's go. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I don't know how that wasn't a safety. Oh man. Wasn't even going to try. I just kind of stood there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that wasn't a safety, guys. That doesn't make any sense to me at all. Like, he's in the end zone as I'm tackling him. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Takes three guys to bring him down. I love it. Don't forget to slap the like button on the video if you guys haven't already. And subscribe if you're new. And join that lovely Discord community. Oh, boy. All right, Wes. I see you, fullback. Oh, nice deflection. How did he get that? Feels bad. Feels so bad. Third down and five. 
Let's go. I'm about to move this young sir over that way. Put some extra blocking up in this beast. Nice blocking downfield by Diego Martinez. My Hispanic alter ego. What's up? <laughs> yeah, buddy, that's true. True story. Don't hate. Tom Schaefer with the glorious Discord link in the chat below. I love it. Right, let's go, Alan. Nice block. Set the edge. Let's go. Let's go. Brandon Allen. Touchdown. Let's go. Big time run for the two-time runner-up for the Heisman. Beautiful run. Not a whole lot of blocking downfield, but he doesn't need it. Sleeper rivalry, San Diego, Eastern Washington series tied 1 1. Jay, are you just like keeping track of every single series in this entire series? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> I like it. It'd be sick if we could have complete records like that for each team. Let's kick it off. I love kicking it off like that. They can't even touch it. Want to hear me hum the rest of Fly Lake and Eagle? Oh no, Joe Owens out six weeks with a dislocated elbow. I've never felt worse in my life. That's not true at all, but I, I do feel bad about that. Oh, what? That was a dart. Oh my goodness. Yeah, San Diego's had a lot of really good games. Especially season one, they had so many one-score games, but they all pretty much went their way. And then season two came around, they had a lot of one-score games, but none of them went their way. And they ended up having the first losing season. Oh boy. The first non-bowl bid season, rather, in series history. What week are we in? This is week six, Tyler. William and Mary, nice play downfield, down to the 26-yard line of Bryant. You can start that this weekend. Jay, you are the GOAT. Come on, let's go. Sit down. Oh, boy, that was a nice throw again. Perfect placement. Oh, baby. Morgan, nine catches, 126 yards on the season. No touchdowns, though. Week six already? Yes, sir. Get him. That's a touchdown. Blackstock walks in for the easiest touchdown in William and Mary history. So they're going to make it a one-score game again. 21-14 here in the second. I'm telling you guys, William & Mary is not going to go away. It's their second 80-yard drive for a touchdown. Oh, boy. All right, Brandon Allen is a little bit tired, so we're going to get A.J. Jordan in here for a carry. He is a bowling ball. This man will just run through the entire defense. But now that I say that, he'll probably get lit up Jadavion Clowney style. Yep. <laughs> Called it. Feels bad. Let's try that again. Different formation. Halfback slam is my go-to run. It's just so good. It doesn't matter what formation. I mean, every once in a while you have a play like the one we just saw, but... Or I'll get caught on my own tight end. Awesome. Fantastic. Third down and 12, just like that. Great. All right. Diego Martinez on a corner route to the right. 
White, who had the 99-yard touchdown reception earlier, is going to go down the field on a streak. Diego Martinez, one-on-one, -on -one, get it! Oh, he dropped it! No, no. Oh, baby. Are there any defensive games? Yeah, we have defensive games. Brashers on for the punt. Yeah, defensive games are like an eclipse. But we, we do have them. Nice tackle. No, I, I did not say there was going to be EFL games today, Tyler. I did not. I said possibly. But I had errands to run this morning. Had to get a bank account set up and deposit my money in the bank so I can actually pay bills. Since I'm the only one here anymore. Feels bad. Wow, Cy Summers just got stiff-armed. When have we ever seen that? Maybe once ever? <laughs> oh my goodness. And it was probably against the tribe. Cy Summers, pretty sure tackler. Blackstock just didn't want any part of him. Just get out of here, son. Rocky Clearwater in the chat, brother. What's going on, man? What what was that? Good lord. Take a good nap, wake up, best stream in the world. Yes, sir. Wow, our secondary is just just non-existent tonight. Fantastic. We will be having another game after this stream ends, guys. So stick around after that one. We'll be having the San Diego Toreros taking on... Who are they taking on? Let's, let's take a look at that graphic. It's always so pretty. Eastern Washington Eagles at San Diego. Coming up after this one, folks. I don't know who got that sack, but it's second down and 16. Let's go. Oh boy, I'm one-on-one -on -one coverage with a slot man. That's that's awkward. A good thing they threw it one yard. Fantastic. Double header, yes sir. I'll never be alone. Well, kind of in this house, except except for these uh, insane cats. Let's go, Tadian. That's what I'm talking about. Lockdown corner. He is doing very well. 11 of 1,495 yards. Fantastic. Get it. And a few goes up, and it is good. And it's 21-17. Another nice drive for the drive. No wife and kids? Uh, nope. Nope, just me. Three cats and a dog. Snoopy Tucker. Yeah, I've not returned that. Nope. 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 Oh boy, let's get it. Little screen pass. Will Cox, not subscriber receiver, and he gets it upfield for a gain of eight. I like it. I like it a lot. It's be crazy cats and a dog? Yes. I'm sorry, I did not specify that they were crazy. Or maybe I did, I just don't remember. Oh, that play was dead from the start. Fantastic. This game is too close. Dude, this is the best rivalry in the series, hands down. I told you guys, it doesn't matter what their record is or their overalls, it's, it's going to be a close one. AJ Jordan falls forward, gets the first down. And we'll call a timeout. We got two left. I just sneezed my left lung out. Hammer, if you could uh, 
Air mail that back to me overnight. That'd be great. That's a sack. Oh, boy. This offensive line is dookie. Oh, I don't want to see the replay. Get out of here. What's the matter with you? I'm a cat dad now. I wish two of them would go away. The other one is, is my boo thing. What's up? Let's go, Snoopy. Oh, you left your feet, son. Woo! Look at that back juke. Get out of the way. Touchdown, Brian Bulldogs. Let's go, Snoopy Tucker to the house. That was a Reggie Bush-esque back to like the one he did against Fresno State back in the day. Oh my goodness. Let's take a look. Ready? Ready? Boop. He's gone. Goodbye. That was sick. <laughs> oh man. That's what I've been waiting for from Snoopy Tucker like his whole career and he just hasn't been doing it. Report a crime, ankle theft, get ankle insurance. <laughs> Snoopy Tucker gonna be in the NFL? Yeah, he sure will. I don't know if he'll go pro after this season or not, but he'll definitely get in there eventually. It'd be nice for him to come back his senior season. All right, let's get it. 14 seconds left. Let me guess, touchdown right here? Nope, nice tackle. Okay, okay then. All right, 28-17 here in the second. A couple game-changing passes tonight from Noel Montanez. Uh-oh. Let's go! Stefano Okafor recovers. Let's go! That's what I'm talking about. I don't know who forced it. But our right outside linebacker, Stefano Okafor, with the nice recovery. Got two timeouts. I'm going to just run it up the gut here and see what happens. We got that momentum, baby. And first down. Nope. All right. Field goal time. You'll love to see it. Take the easy three. I'm going to, man. I just wanted to get a little closer because I don't know about this guy. It's a freshman kicker, I believe. Hugo is up and it is a beauty. 31 to 17 now. One second left. I'm gonna go for an onside kick because, well, that's that's just what I do. So deal with it. One second left. What could go wrong? That was terrible. That's gonna go right down the middle. Oh, the kicker with a big hit. <laughs> Let's go. That is the end of the half. It's 31-17. William & Mary down by two touchdowns here in Smithfield, Rhode Island. And our next game after this stream, guys, Eastern Washington travels to take on the San Diego Toreros, who finally got a win. Uh, pretty much, what, two nights ago? Three nights ago? I can't remember. But, yeah, they won. They beat in Northern Arizona. Okay. Nice, nice kick. All right, Tom. Thanks for stopping by, brother. Thanks for the uh, super chat as well. Halftime show by Nas. Listen, if you guys know anybody that does music and they want to do a halftime performance, we got a national championship game eventually, all right? Just saying. Get out of here with that weak sauce. Come on now, bro. That'd be really cool if we could get somebody to like perform like a song or something. All right, second down and 10. And a nice quick pass to Richardson. For a pickup of seven. Ooh, Cy Summers in the zone, baby. Let's blitz him. Let's go. Yeah, Hammer. Get your guitar out. Perform. Let's go. Oh, boy. He's wide open. Feels bad. I just absolutely destroyed Scott Goldberg, the head coach for Bryant. Whoopsie. <laughs> Regear Productions in the chat. What's going on, man? Hammer, that's that spelling's about as good as some of the graphics you sent me. <laughs> what you gonna do, sucker? Oh, let's go. Cy Summers is too quick with it. 
too quick. Michael Gregory in the chat as well. What's going on, everybody? Slap that like button for those of you that just joined us. Slap it hard. Or caress it softly. Whatever you want to do, it's up to you. And a first down for the Tribe. They are torching this poor secondary. Hammer, you know I love you, buddy. <laughs> if I didn't, I wouldn't be picking on him. Get him! Incomplete! Six hurries, four sacks, so we're getting pretty good pressure on the quarterback. And a Ruben Blueberry in the zone at defensive end. I'm going to blitz off the edge with Cy Summers and hopefully destroy this quarterback's family. Let's go. Nope, not that time. Oh, maybe. Hidian Moss. Oh, he's too short. I No, that's holding. I thought I hit the quarterback late. You're going to write me a love song? Come on, Hammer. Let's do it. Make a music video. And we'll post it in the Discord. Come on, baby. Let's go. Get him. Oh, he got wrecked. All right, third down and 20. Let's go nickel. Cover two. Go deep. And Cy Summers gets a much-needed break there on third and 20. He's a little tired. Good pass. And that goes not anywhere close to the first down marker. Nice boy band <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yes. Is Hammer a girl? 100%. That's my boo thing. What's up? Let's go, Alan. Let's go. Oh, that was just good coverage. They all were not fooled at all. Who's the best free safety in the nation? Oh, man. That's going to be between... Uh, Ralph William and Cody Lee Jr. and Deacon Cooper, I think. And, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> There's just so much talent. Let's go. Oh, my goodness, he's fast. Wow, he's gone. <laughs> oh, the acceleration. Woo. Let's go. Touchdown, Bulldogs. 86 yarders. So many deep touchdown passes in this game. What? Wow. Just letting you guys know. No, not formation. Sub, stupid. Come on now. Anyways, Nick White, true freshman, available for customization. What's going on? He's got a 99 yarder and an 86 yarder tonight. In case you guys were wondering. That's the flash. Dude, he was so fast. What is this? I just looked at the depth chart and I didn't even see his speed either. Did someone see it? Somebody tell me they saw it. I'm not going back in there. What is this? Are we going for two now? Because we're on the one? Uh, yeah. Easy money. Let's go. Thirty-nine, seventeen, Bulldogs on top by twenty-two points here in the third quarter. I don't think we're going to be having a one-score ball game this time. But, again, you never know. Tribe will definitely not be quitting here tonight. With 91 speed. Thank you, John. Good eye, buddy. Good eye. His acceleration is probably 150. I don't even know. Oh, what? what is that? Where are you going? Where are you going, son? Get out of here, cat. Get away from me. I'm working here, man. I want a blitz. Nope. Okay, that was weird. They had two receivers in the same spot. Kind of awkward, but it worked for them, I guess. All right, third down and one. They are one of five tonight on third down. What is 
still waiting for defensive tackle Divine Adams to make a play here tonight. And he will not do it this time, but Hall falls down. I don't think he got it. He did not. Oh my goodness, that dive failed him miserably. Cash wants a front row seat for the game. Wait, they need to get out my way. They got, you know, six other bedrooms or five other bedrooms in this house to, to go hang out in. Oh, baby! Woo! All the way to the 34. That was nice. I got sacked by the cat. <laughs> Alright, he's exhausted, so let's hand it off to AJ Jordan and get this drive started, shall we? No blocking. Okay, AJ Jordan trips over a defender, picks up around 9 or 10 yards. And we'll keep feeding him. He hungry. They love me. Yeah. They only love me because I feed them. Oh, boy. Carter, eight sacks in his career. Nice. Very nice for the left end. Very nice. Why is Allen still exhausted? Please make it stop. And they're free safety, not in the zone. I thought he was for a second. Wes Davis! Let's go, Wes! The fullback! He's gone untouched! <laughs> Let's go! Oh, baby, that was nice. Let's go! Wow, they did not expect the handoff to the former halfback turned fullback, Wes Davis. Unreal. Non-subscriber player just to the house. Wow. <laughs> that was nuts. Doing the score stats now, Jay. You're so dedicated. I like it. Well, this game is 46-17 uh, now. Have a perfect kickoff where they're not going to return. Very nice. Very nice. Time to blitz everybody, every play. Cy si Summers in the zone. Look out for the big hit. Force fumble. Ooh, halfback or fullback can't hear. Very nice. Get him. I mean, who are you throwing that to, bub? What's going on here? There's going to be San Diego at, or hosting Eastern Washington after this one, Noah. Second down and ten. Oh, baby, Reuben Blueberry. Let's go. His sixth sack of the season. It's a beautiful thing. I'm going to blitz the uh, free safety. I hope it's good. I hope that game is good. Oh, I fell down. That feels real bad. Uh-oh. Wow, he caught it. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this quarterback's got a nice arm on him. I tell you what. Bounced right off the back of the defender. All right, all right. I just punched him. I just double punched him right in the throat for the sack. <laughs> Can we get a replay? Let's go. Ready for the double punch? Ready? Boom. Sit down. That's one way to take somebody out. Cy Summers with the tackle. I thought I was going to have an interception chance right there. Third down and ten. Defense! 
Okay, Bruce Lee. You like that sack, did you? Let's see if I can do it again. I hit him. Oh, nice catch by Ferris down to the one yard line. I don't even think he was the intended target. Oh my goodness. That was a laser beam of a throw. And like I said, William and Mary, the score might be a little lopsided right now, but they are not going to give up, folks. They know it's a rivalry game. Conference matchup. Big time matchup of the season. Eat him. Oh, running back got wrecked. And Tadian Moss is two feet tall and could not get to the football. All right, brother. Take it easy. Did Hammer leave? I don't know if he left or not. Maybe he's, you know, writing a song for me. All right, extra point up and good for the tribe. It's 46 to 24. Yes, sir. Every single touchdown drive they've had was 80 yards or more. You hear you never leave? <laughs> Except for when you're at the chiropractor, you know? Yes, Hammer, Hammer is a man. Of course, we have yet to see his face reveal on the Discord, but... I'm assuming. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, AJ. All the way to the 34. What a run. Look at his career numbers. He could be a number one halfback for Bryant. And he will be if uh, Allen goes pro and he doesn't. Gotta fix your back. Yeah, I gotta fix mine at some point. It's, it's rough. Deep shot, Snoopy Tucker, double coverage, probably picked off. He almost got there. Oh my goodness. He really almost got to that. All right, final play of the third quarter here. Allen, nice blocking. Allen picks up eight or nine yards. Get your fours up in the chat, folks. Bryant Bulldogs on top of the William & Mary Tribe, 46-24 here in Smithfield, Rhode Island. All right, Allen is in the zone. Get there, freshman. Oh my goodness, he caught it! This guy is a god. Three catches, 236 yards, and two touchdowns. Bruh. <laughs> oh my goodness. This guy's a beast. Wow. Unbelievable catch. Three catches for over 200 yards. Get out of here. <laughs> That's so nuts. All right, no gain on that one. Third down and goal. I'm going to hit Allen over here in the flats on the right. Wide open. Come on, Allen. Touchdown, Bryant Bulldogs. We got the 50-burger, the first in this rivalry matchup. And that was a beautiful dive for the score.
Next point up and good. 53 to 24 now. Seven play, three yard drive. Nick White, true freshman, wide receiver, having himself a game. forward to our next game of the night. San Diego hosting Eastern Washington. Trying to get the Toreros back up over 500. Oh, that should have been a touchdown. My goodness. <laughs> oh, man. All right, Ruben Blueberry in the zone at defensive end for the Bulldogs. Quarterback in the zone as well for the Tribe. Quick pass, right side, caught by Richardson. About an eight-yard reception. And I am going to blitz the Cy Summers. Nice tackle. Divine Adams on the stop. Let's go, Divine. First time I've called his name tonight. And I really want to block this kick. I want to block it. We're going to get one. I'm telling you guys. It's going to happen. Not this time, but, you know, some other time. Okay, nice blocking. Nice blocking. Oh, down at the 36-yard line. Good tackle. Field. Oh, nice deflection. <laughs> Eight completions for what was that over 300 yards? Four touchdowns? Goodness gracious. Okay, AJ. Nice juke. Bulldogs over 200 yards rushing for the game. Any score predictions for the San Diego Eastern Washington game, guys? Come on, Diego. Catch this one, buddy. Let's go. Diego Martinez to the house. Touchdown. Bryant Bulldogs. Let's go. Beautiful throw. Dropped it right in the bucket. about to get that 60 burger so William and Mary's defense clearly uh, a bit different <laughs> than the previous two seasons sixty to twenty four let's go that's all right there's blowouts in every rivalry at some point Oh, what a hit. Goodness gracious. All right, John, take it easy, buddy. Appreciate you stopping by, man. 31-21. San Diego's a seven-point favorite. Okay, okay. Yeah, I was a bit late on the pick -em, but, you know, things happen in life. Oh, man, I thought they were going short right there. That's my bad. Yeah, their offense is pretty good. They, they just need help on defense. They need more speed. And some better guys up front in front seven. Try to get some pressure on the quarterbacks. And I think William & Mary will be right back to being pretty dominant there in the ACC. But their offense has had no trouble going up and down this field on us. That's for sure. Clearly. Good lordy. 404 passing yards for the Tribe. Bruh, 
What do you mean? So Utah needs a non-conference rival since they keep beating on their rival Arkansas Pine Bluff. Hey, it happens, man. Oh, nice catch by Ferris. Good lord. You can't guard these guys. Wait, that was Luke Brooks at quarterback. He was their starter the previous two seasons. Why have they had a different quarterback this entire game? Luke Brooks is number seven. And they've had Bailey all game long. You know, Regear, we can get Idaho on the schedule next season. Get a revenge game from last season. I'm just saying. Blueberry and Summers in the zone for the Bulldogs. And Morgan right at the sticks again. These guys are really good on offense. Feels real bad. My defense is getting smoked. Oh my goodness. Let's go. Cy Summers with a pick, baby. Let's go. Okay, gone. Goodbye. Oh, nice tackle. Oh, my goodness. Great stiff arm. Number 84, they have a receiver out here playing defense. No wonder why he caught me. Well, Regear, we can go uh, Utah State. That'd probably be a good one. Put Richmond versus San Diego next year. Well, San Diego has a head coach that does his own schedule, so that would be up to him, sir. And an Allen up to the 49-yard line. Over 300 yards today total. 304 with two touchdowns. I do think that we have Richmond on someone's schedule this season. I just can't remember who. Deep shot. Nick White. Oh, my goodness. This guy is a legend already. He's got almost 300 yards receiving this game. I think we've only seen a receiver get 300 yards receiving maybe once or twice with uh, Highlight and Irwin Dowski from South Dakota State. I could be wrong on that. Who knows? Maybe we haven't seen that at all. I don't know. Played, you know, almost 400 games in this series. Okay, OBS just stopped working for a moment. Apologies. Feels bad. Ruben Blueberry in the zone for the Bulldogs. Sit down. Too easy. Cy Summers unblocked. They're down at 17 for the Tribe. Good pass right side. That's Sims. And he'll get three yards.
Oh my goodness, Ruben Blueberry almost blocked that and he absolutely destroyed the kicker. Has San Diego played San Diego State? I do believe so. Oh, what do you mean? Guys. What is this? We'll, oh my goodness. We could not have been any closer. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, feels really bad. Oh my goodness. My heart stopped. I thought we blocked it for sure. Man. Can't get any closer than that. That was nuts. All right, let's just run the clock out now. Don't want to embarrass him too bad now. Montanez played the game for Bryant and Bailey played the game for William and Mary. Both quarterbacks just popped off in this game. Could not be stopped. AJ Jordan now in at halfback for the Bulldogs. And we'll give him one more carry. Just to end it with him. AJ Jordan. Okay. Okay, AJ. Very exciting three yard game. That's going to be the final play of the game, guys. The Bryant Bulldogs, number three team in the nation, defeat the William and Mary Tribe 67 to 24 here in this rivalry series. Definitely not the best game in the series, that's for sure. Well, William and Mary, one of four on the season. They're struggling. They need some help on defense. And with some good recruiting in the offseason, I think they'll get right back to it and be competing for the ACC again. Was not expecting a blowout here in this game. But our next game is sure to be a good one as well here as we have the Eastern Washington Eagles traveling to take on the San Diego Terreros. Terreros offense has been struggling, to say the least, uh, the past, I don't know, season and a half, just about. But, you know, we're working on it. We're getting better. We had some explosive plays last week in week five. But then the other team, Northern Arizona, kind of just started to come back, and we didn't really have too many answers for them. So we got to find a way to keep our foot on the gas and don't let up against the Eastern Washington Eagles in Pac-10 action. Bulldogs are 5-0, oh, yes, sir. Take a look at the stats. Montanez, 10-16, 457 yards, six touchdowns, no picks, sacked three times, longer 99. Allen, 152 yards on the ground, one touchdown. Wes Davis, the retro junior fullback, um, former halfback, three carries, 60 yards, two touchdowns. Insane. And A.J. Jordan with 44 yards. Nick White, true freshman receiver, four catches, 260 or 287 yards, rather, three touchdowns. Allen had a touchdown catch. Diego Martinez had one. Snoopy Tucker had a 72-yarder. Receivers were popping off in this game. Kenneth Harrington, six pancakes, no sacks allowed. Ruben Blueberry, eight tackles, two for loss, two sacks. Cy Summers, four tackles, three for loss, three sacks, one pick. Stephon Okafor, two tackles. Joe Owens, injured for six weeks, feels really bad. All right, seven sacks in the game. One pick. Bunch of deflections. Four fumble for Ruben Blueberry, recovered by Stephon Okafor. Alright guys, that is it for this one. There's the players of the game, Bailey, Gatewood, and Richardson for the William & Mary Tribe who fall to 1-4 on the season, 0-3 in conference play. And players of the game for the Bryant Bulldogs, Montanez, White, and Allen.
our next game, like I just said, that one will be out in about 10 minutes or so. Just have to finish preparing for that one. And I'll see you guys all there. Don't forget to slap a like on the video if you have not already. Subscribe if you're new. And join our Discord community today to get your college football career started. So until uh, our next stream, Eastern Washington at San Diego, take it easy, guys.